Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So I'm sure by now most of you seen the Parallax shader. It is basically this 3D shader where you can make images appear 3D on a flat surface. However, today I'm going to be showing you how to make Parallax eyes. It's not that hard to do and the results are kind of interesting. Some people like it, some people don't. The main thing of the eyes is that they follow you around and it looks really interesting. So let me show you how to do it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go on the booth and download the parallax shader from there. I'll leave a link in the description. And then once you download it, you're going to get a zipped file. You just want to unzip this. And now in this folder here, you just want to drag this shader folder into your Unity project. So once you have it in your Unity project, you can just type shader here and you're going to be presented with a parallax shader here. So because we're going to apply this shader onto our eyes, what are we going to do is we're going to right click 3D object and then sphere. On this right side here, you want to uh, sphere collider and then just remove it. And you're going to drag the shader onto the sphere. Now, in your case, it's going to have a bunch of textures here. So what are you going to do is you're going to go in a program like Krita or Photoshop works too. And you're basically just going to get a transparent image and you're going to drag and drop it into every single one of these windows. Now, when it comes to the eye textures, your best bet is to get already a textures for the eyes that you have. And then you want to make the background transparent and just keep one eyeball. And then you want to cut the image into a square. So you have something like this. And that is where you're going to basically save and export. So your eye textures, you can put in every single one of these uh, cubes here. However, I found out that if you just drag the PNG in the parallax poster, then it's going to automatically apply it. Now you have a bunch of settings here. The top one is basically how wide your eye is. So we can make it very wide. I like to leave a little bit of white. We're going to select our sphere and then using this tool here, we can properly rotate it so that the, uh, so that the eye is facing towards us. Occlusion scale, you want to turn that down a bit just so that you can see the eye better. And basically from here, you just want to scale it down and position it into your avatar's head. And you only need to do it on the left side because we're going to duplicate it automatically on the other side. So just position it in your above your eye that already exists on your avatar. And once you're satisfied with how you positioned it, you want to right click on your avatar and then create empty. You want to make a duplicate of your sphere, drag it onto the game object. And then in the first scale number, you want to make sure it says minus one. And that is going to automatically duplicate it on the other side. And then of course you want to select both of the spheres and then just attach them to your head of the avatar. How you do that is you go armature, spine, chest, neck, head. And then once you find the head, you just want to drag the spheres on top of the head. And now as you can see, we have that beautiful parallax eyes that look either very creepy or some or interesting in some scenarios. Hope you guys find this video informational. If you have some questions, let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around. Peace.